Hi, I'm Hidehiko Takahashi, a chairperson of the Department of Psychiatry, Tokyo Medical and Dental University. We are conducting brain imaging research to understand the pathophysiology of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a common and major psychiatric disorder that usually presents with hallucination and thought disorder, including delusion and incoherent speech. Eugen Bloyer, who coined the term schizophrenia in 1908, regarded that the fundamental feature of this disorder is loosening of association, a lack of association between different ideas resulting in disorganized thinking. The theoretical framework of semantic networks assumes that semantically related concepts are connected. In schizophrenia, on the other hand, typical connections are loosened and unrelated concepts are connected. However, over the past 100 years, the pathophysiological evidence of loosening of association has not been presented. Now, we have tried to study the structural characteristics of the semantic networks in the brain that reflect thought disorder in schizophrenia. We investigated the brain activity of 40 patients with schizophrenia and 70 healthy individuals. All of the participants underwent functional magnetic resonance imaging fMRI, while watching soundless color movies. It is now possible to quantitatively evaluate the semantic representation of individual worlds in the brain, thanks to fMRI showing brain activity and natural language processing techniques. To understand the difference in the brain characteristics, we analyze a semantic brain network using graph theory, which deal with the mathematical characteristics of such graphs. We found that the semantic networks in the brains of healthy individuals have small world properties similar to natural languages, meaning that concepts are organized into specific semantic domains and are globally connected, enabling coherent thought and speech. In contrast, the semantic networks of schizophrenia patients were disorganized and randomized. These impairments in semantics and associations contribute to the thought disorder, including delusions. Thanks to advances in artificial intelligence and informatics, in addition to brain imaging, we have now elucidated the pathophysiology of loosening of associations, which has been a mystery for more than a century. This new approach can help us understand how the brains of patients with schizophrenia or any other sort of disorder perceive the world. In the future, we hope to not only elucidate the pathophysiology of the hallucination, another core symptom of schizophrenia, but also to visualize them. Thank you for watching.